What's up, everybody? It's Stephen Williams, founder and president of TheCreditRepairShop.com. I got some good stuff for you today. We're going to talk about uh, money on the psycho psychological level. We're going to talk about credit and the value of having good or excellent credit. And we're going to run through our um, uh, lesson or our vi a way that you can start moving forward on repairing your credit because I and I want to do it this way this is an exercise that I had in another video but we're going to go over it again because repetition is is recognition I remember a guy that worked for me Elon he he's passed away now but uh, he used to always say repetition is recognition and, and he was a salesman for me and what he meant by that is when you go around to all of the businesses and they they know you or if you had a business and you kept running your ads that people would just remember you and this is the same thing the same thing works for when you want to repair your credit when you want to have good credit when you want to have excellent credit you must do some things repetitively or you're you're going to fall down it's just like exercise and if you don't exercise if you don't eat right over and over and over and over and over again you're, it's, you're not going to accomplish the goal. The same thing is you need to feed your brain. A lot of you need to feed your mind. You need to feed your psyche. Uh, you need to feed your spirit. And a lot of times we forget that. You know, we take our body uh, for granted, and we think everything else on the outside, like these clothes or this this very expensive watch or this tie or these glasses or this computer that I'm talking to you on is more important than the body that we have that we got for free. Everything else could be replaced, but the one thing that we can't replace that we got for free is the most valuable thing. So I'm going to show you how to use this valuable piece of equipment, this body that we have. To get you to where you want to be and I got some proof things here today I'm not gonna just talk I'm gonna talk about my, I'm gonna show you myself what what I've done because there's a lot of people online and they tell you all these things and they're not actually doing it so now I'm gonna first tell you about uh, my experiences with well first let me just show you my credit scores I just did a refresh here go my scores there we got Experian 776, Equifax 776, or they work with each other, I don't know. And then TransUnion 766, I don't know why it's at that, there we go there. That's mine, I just printed it out. And yes, I use a monitoring service, I pay for it, just like I tell uh, you guys and girls to do. I do it myself because it's very important. It's like if you buy a car, you know you got to get gas. If you want to have good credit and excellent credit, you need to pay for a service that will allow you to see everything on your reports across the board, including the scores. There's a link below, your www.yournumber3scores.com. Please go there and grab your reports. The next thing I want to talk about uh regarding credit credit repair and this is a major lesson because it's gonna this, what i'm about to sh share with you right now will play so much into you moving forward when i get to the lesson uh that it, it'll blow your mind and I, I want to show it to you because if i don't give you the examples you may not internalize it or believe it you might think that i'm just making this stuff up there is uh there's three levels of money and if you've ever watched listen to reverend ike uh, uh i've become aware of him over the last month or two and he talked about three levels of money and he talks about the bottom the lowest level of money is the material level the month the dollars you know what you have in your hand what we have in our hand but he says we we as long as we're in this material body, we have to have material money. So he's not saying anything bad about it. He's just saying that that's the lowest level. And if you think about it, what do everyone fight about? They fight about money. But what do people that have a lot of money do? 
they do what I'm about to tell you about right here. There's actually three levels of money. Uh, we're, we're not going to talk about the top level. We're just going to talk about the bottom level, which is physical money. And then we're going to talk about the, the second level, which is psychological money. And I'm about to show you how psychological money works because I learned this lesson. I don't want to say the hard way, but I learned this lesson. Uh, my wife, she always gets on me. Well, I don't say she gets on me. She just reminds me because we, we really work really good together. And I love my wife and happy birthday. Her birthday was yesterday. Uh, but she tells me, don't worry so much about money per se we need to worry more about value and i think i had that on the outside consciously but sometimes internally i didn't have that because i manage all of the finances for the family we have investments in the stock market and if you're going to be a, a good investor in the stock market, you're going to have to learn to be on a psychological level, not on the material level for money. The reason why is because it's going to fluctuate up and down. You must have a psych psychology, a psychological belief that your money will make you money, that your what you've invested in has value. That's why a lot of people they only really lose money in the stock market when they buy things that were worthless, that were fake companies or companies that really did not have any value. Because if you think about it, if you buy something that has value over time, it's going to move up. So that means that you psychologically understand that money really comes from having a psychological value. But most people have it reversed. They think that only that money only comes from the money that they have in their hand. So they believe that they cannot make more money because they don't have enough money to make money. And then when they have money, they're afraid of losing money to invest to make more money because they only think about what's in their hand. I've invested in several companies some of them didn't make it some of them did make it but the ones that did make it made way more money than i invested but the one mistake that i believe that i've made in the past of, of the companies that didn't make it was i just didn't really want to do them some of them could have made it but i didn't really want to do them but if it's something that you really want to do then you must invest your money if you're not going to invest your time and you're going to just invest in a business or invest in the stock market, invest in opportunity, you must invest fully. And the only way that you can invest fully is to have a psychological understanding about money. Because you, if you look at what you have in your hand, you will not fully go into that investment and you will sabotage yourself. So what I want to show you real quick... <clears throat> is there was an investment uh probably let's see it was in may my wife and i bought it in may it's roku you can look on the stock market r-u-k-u -U. everybody sees it it's the streaming uh application and we purchased the stock at sixty dollars per share we bought two hundred dollars worth of that stock so that was two hundred dollars times sixty twelve thousand dollars we put into it and uh, the stock slowly kept growing up and it went all the way and here's a I don't know if you'll be able to see that you can see right there where it spiked up you can see where it spiked up uh, the stock went all the way to hundred and sixty five dollars Per share 165 a little over that 167 so you got 167 times 200 that's 33,400 and then at the beginning of or the end of last month I think it was the end of last month because we were on a vacation the stock started going down it I mean it went down and you could see right on there you see where it dipped down it went all the way down to a hundred, yeah, a little under a hundred dollars. And this is where 
I had we were on vacation and I told my wife, are we should we just take our money and run from this? Like I was you probably heard where they say pigs get slaughtered and all that stuff on CNBC. And she said, this is a good company. We should just hold it. And then right after that, the crazy thing right after that is when I had learned about the psychological level of money, which is you must understand that if you bought something of value, it does not matter if it fluctuates up and down. You cannot get stuck in that type of thinking because if you do, you'll just be chasing after money. So my wife, we sat down and I said, I'm going to shut my mouth and I'm going to practice what I've learned and what you've been actually telling me, but I just didn't understand it. Sometimes you got to hear it from another person to really let it sink in and understand. So it dipped under a hundred bucks. Well, as of today, the stock, and you can see where on there, where it jumped back up, it said $139.07. So now we got 200 times 139.07. So it's at 20, so my $12,000 investment is now $27,814. And like I said, we made that investment in May. Yeah, May of this year, May of this year. So this is a valuable lesson because th when it comes to your credit, when it comes to your credit, you must have a value belief about what your credit is worth to you, what your credit is worth to the world, what your credit is worth to other companies that you might want to get loans from, that you might want to get credit cards from, that you might want to start a business using your credit, the psychological value of your credit. You must have that understanding about it because if you don't, you're going to look at where you are right now and you're not going to move forward on what you need to do to position yourself so you can use your credit the way that it needs to be used. So now let's go and talk about the first thing you need to do. If, if you, you need to get your credit reports and scores. You need to get your credit reports and scores. I repeat, get your credit reports and scores and go to the monitoring service that I have uh, the link below. If you do that, I'll even do a free review with you, or you can put your comments, tell me exactly what's going on with your credit, and I'll tell you what you need to do. Uh, go get your reports and scores. Your wwwyour 3 to number 3 scorescom Go get your reports and scores. Now, the lesson that I taught you about, if, it, it, just in case you didn't watch my video before, I'm going to go through it again. Get a piece of paper out. Get a piece of paper and something to write without. And I'm going to take a drink of my coffee real quick while you do that. Get your paper out. We, we're getting ready to show you the difference between what other companies are trying to get you to do and the reasons why you have failed is because you're not visualizing yourself the right way with what you want to achieve. Okay, on that piece of paper, put a line down it like a little line and then a line at the top and I want you to put on one side sorry about that I closed my office door real quick so you, you put a put a line down it a line across the top and on the left side you're gonna put your negative credit and you're gonna list all of those negative items and again you can go to the link below www.your the number three scores.com and get your credit reports and scores so you're going to put all your negative uh, credit on that left side and then on the at the bottom put your scores. I don't know if I said that in the last video. Put your credit scores below there too with which bureau that is. Now, on the other side, I want you to uh, write down what your life would be like if those items were removed and write down what you would have to do to get that item resolved. So we're going to take it up a notch. We're going to step it up a little. So let's just say you have a medical collection. What would be the options to get rid of the medical collections? You can go and 
go on to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed there yet, The Credit Repair Shop. Go there. I have videos about every type of item that you're that you probably every item that's on your credit report. I have videos on how to deal with them. So uh, you had a negative information. You're gonna write down how the, the options to resolve it. Watch my videos on how to resolve that particular type of item, and then I want you to put how you would be feeling, how you're imagine how your life would be if that item was gone and I want you to do that for each item across the board now when you do that also you need to visualize yourself in that picture so don't just say uh, if that medical bill was gone uh, it would be like it's paid off like you like you saw a little a letter or something and it said paid across of it you need to visualize yourself holding that letter and it says that it's paid off or that it's been removed or it's been forgiven because of a technicality you whatever you want to visualize that's up to you but you need to visualize that it is resolved that it is resolved and you need to have it in your hand you don't have to know exactly how it's going to be resolved so don't put too much into well i know i owe this medical bill and it has to be resolved this way don't worry about that just have it in your hand like you have a letter or you got some letter in the mail visualize that it says the medical debt is resolved just let's leave it at that and you need to do that for each one of those and then what i want you to do is every morning and night is look at that and be truthful with yourself are you doing what it takes to get you to that other side to the to the goal side so you had a negative credit side and you had the goal side on the right are you doing what it takes every day to get you to that side part of that what makes this different than what other people tell you to do is that part of that is visualization think about everything that you have in your life that you have you have visualized it in some form or fashion you may have uh, you know, you, you probably visualize where you lived at. Even if you don't, you think that you just moved there, what happens is that you, when you saw the place, you start visualizing yourself living there. So I'm teaching you how to visualize ahead of seeing what uh, the potential uh, outcome could be. Or I'm uh, allow, let me rephrase that, scratch that. I'm allowing you to visualize the outcome before you know what way the outcome is going to materialize which will really put you ahead of the game when it comes to resolving your credit to getting you to where you want to be so uh, if you uh, don't have your reports and scores click the link below or you know go to www.your3scores Dot com get your credit reports write down all your negative information on the left side and your scores with each bureau and on the right side put your goal and then you're gonna put down uh, how you would feel uh, everything about well, how you would feel if that was resolved and also go watch my other videos on my channel to see the, the options to resolve that type of negative credit item. And then you visualize yourself holding that letter or statement or, you know, reading an email that says it's resolved, but you have to have yourself in the picture. If you don't have yourself in the picture, it's not going to work. All right. Uh, I look forward to hearing your comments. This is probably going to take a little bit of time for people, uh, but I'm pretty sure... 10 20 30 40 days from now 60 days from now maybe even months from now people are going to start posting their comments uh you, you you the ones that follow what i'm telling you to do and you're going to see some amazing results results that you've never seen uh, that with other people that have uh, advised people on how to repair their credit so this is stephen williams please go to our website www.thecreditrepairshop.com if you need help um you can get your credit reports and scores at www.your3scores.com. Both of those links are below here. 
Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share it with other people because we're, we're tackling credit repair issues in a whole different way on this channel. Thank you.